sweet. It's been delivered. And it's just sitting in front of my house right now. I gotta go get that thing. Thing. All, right. All right, here it is YouTube. If you guys have been following my channel, then you guys know that I recently purchased the WD EX2 Ultra. Uh, it's a MyCloud NAS storage system meant for uh, storing cloud files, uh, pictures, video, media content, things like that. And I returned it because it wasn't happy with the performance. You can check out that review. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you'll also probably see something pop up over here uh, for you to click on as well if you want to watch that and all the reasons why I returned it. But anyways, after doing uh, further research, I did decide to stick with the WD family of the, the MyCloud uh, NAS devices. And this is what I chose. This is the PR2100. I've been waiting for this device to, to show up. I'm uh, pretty excited about it because this is a quad-core Intel processor that's 1.6 gigahertz. I believe it boosts up to either 2.2 or 2.5. I'll see if I can find those specs and put them up on the screen. It also has four gigabytes of uh, DDR3 RAM. And this uh, particular NAS device is great as a Plex server, which uh, those of you guys who don't know what Plex is, I'll also leave a, a link in the description below. If you guys want to, let me know and I'll do a review on Plex itself, show you kind of a bit more of what that, that is and how it works. But uh, Plex ultimately is a uh, media storage server. It organizes your videos, movies, pictures, that sort of thing, and makes them accessible in the cloud. Uh, but where the EX2 Ultra was lacking, uh, this one definitely makes up for it. Uh, the EX2 was not capable of uh, really playing very much video content, uh, wasn't able to handle any kind of transcoding, and as a matter of fact, the processor was no longer supported by, by Plex itself at all. Um, where this one uh, has internal transcoding, uh, I've actually seen a few uh, re reviews on it where it's capable of playing multiple devices at the same time, different videos uh, going, transcoding all the way down from 4K to you know 720, whatever it is that the device that you're, you're watching it on, it's capable of handling it and doing very well. Uh, it's got lots of, of uh, RAM to be able to support it. Quad Core is awesome. Uh, it's got all the, the different uh, device apps, you know, Android, iOS, that sort of thing. Um, and it is uh, great as a uh, media, uh, sorry, file storage device, as a network storage. Because uh, we got this to be able to keep all of our, our storages in a central location because we, we recently purchased MacBooks which uh, as many of you guys know uh, storage on those things comes at a, a very high premium uh, where this definitely will make up for that and then everybody here will be able to access that um, and to be able to have their own separate spaces on the storage device and, and be able to access that even from abroad. Um, so you know you can be anywhere and access this thing um, as long as you have access granted to you. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what's in the box and open this thing up. This off to the side here a bit. So uh, same basic setup card that the other one came with. Uh, pretty simple steps. Uh, you plug it in, plug it into your router, uh, put the hard drives in, wait for the, the, the lights to stop blinking on it, and then go to mycloud.com forward slash setup. It's very simple to, to use. Uh, again, one of the reasons why I stuck with uh, the MyCloud ecosystem, just because it, it, of its uh, ease of use. So, um, looks like we've got 
warranty guide. Uh, we've got ethernet cable, uh, power cable, and this is probably the power brick. Yes, power brick, and that's pretty much it. Pretty standard stuff there. And for the device itself, that's pretty much it in the box. This thing's got a good amount of weight to it. Very, very solid compared to the, the EX2 Ultra. The, the EX2 Ultra had a, a plastic body where this one has a metal body. Um, this one, just without the drives, because I did purchase the discless version because I had already uh, previously purchased drives to go in the EX2. Uh, so now uh, I, I got the discless version on, on this one. And this feels as heavy as the EX2 Ultra did with the drives. Uh, and this is empty, uh, so very, very solid con construction. Okay, kind of a walk through here of what it's got. Uh, it's got a USB 3.0 port here in the front. Uh, this is for quick copy, uh, so you can plug in an external drive, thumbnail drive, uh, possibly even camera, and just hit that button and have it just automatically copy what's on that device to the, the drive. Um, haven't looked into it, but I'm sure you probably can set it up to a predetermined location of where it's going to copy. Um, there's the power button, and here's the two drives because this is a, a dual drive system for redundancy. Um, it has multiple different RAID configurations that you can do. Uh, looks like it has uh, ventilation on this side. I did see right now looking inside of it that the motherboard is on this side, uh, so ventilation there for that. Uh, doesn't have any ventilation on the other side probably because there's no need to. Uh, pretty good size fan here in the back. Uh, haven't really uh, read any reviews that said anything about noise level. Some people did complain about the EX2 Ultra being a little bit loud, but I, honestly I put it through quite a bit of testing and didn't really notice it get too loud at all. Um, and the, the fan system on that I don't feel was anywhere near as good as, as what it is on this one. Um, so, but we'll, we'll see. Um, does have a, a USB 3.0 port here on the back. Has two uh, ethernet uh, connections there for, again, for redundancy. So if you do have a, an ethernet connection go out, then you have another one backing it up, as well as the, the power uh, supply in, imports or inputs as well um, it, for redundancy. So if you have a power supply go bad, and if you have another one connected to it, then it, it keeps power to the unit so you can still be able to access uh, your information. So um, this one, I actually like the form factor of it a lot. Uh, pretty good size. On the, the WDEX2 uh, Ultra, uh, the drive's kind of more sat like that. And so in order to get it to sit in my desk, I had to put feet on the side of it and, and sit it down like that. Um, where it looks like this one just sitting upright like that since the drives kind of go in this way that it may just fit in my desk uh, just fine. So that's that, that's uh, definitely a plus for me there. But very, very solid construction. Uh, very happy with the way that this thing feels. Definitely feels like a good upgrade from the, the EX2 Ultra.